Hello and welcome everyone. This is curl 779.1. Uh, this time it's a quick patch release. Uh, we only spent a week on this. I am Daniel Stenberg. Of course, I work on, on curl uh, full time all day. I work for Wolf SSL. We do curl support and uh, offer help for anyone who needs help with curl and curl related stuff. So let's go through some number security features and bug fixes we did this time. And as I said, this is a <laughs> this is of course a, another release and I'm going to talk about the changes we did in this release compared to the previous one, but in this uh, this particular case we only uh, spent a week from the previous one, so it's not going to be a lot. This is release 203 from the beginning. Uh, and this time we only had f 11 contributors in these seven days, but they were uh, five of them were new, so we're really, really close to 2,500 um, now. We just need 11 more and then we can mark off that celebration. Um, three people committed the, the commits in this and none of them were new uh, in this particular release. Actually, no new committers in a release. That's been a while since we actually had it like that but of course this was a very quick one and only we only tried to merge uh, really safe bug fixes this time so that we would actually get a really good and solid patch release now and of course as i said we spent seven days on this release we've been at it for a while um <clears throat> 85 86 87 days um, since inception and inception is the first color release uh, there's no bug boundaries handed out this time because, you know, we only had a week and we haven't had any new reports. So if you have or know any security problems in curl, report them uh, at hacker1.com slash curl and you will be rewarded. Uh, I am working on a blog post and an announcement that will happen soon about the new bug bounty system set up for curl. Hopefully meaning that we will get better payouts for rewards. So yeah, we did about 10 bug fixes in this uh, release and here are some of them. First, the the particular, the big one that was reported first that made me decide that we needed a patch release was this. <laughs> and it's such an annoying bug. Uh, so in 7.79.0, in the previous release, I fixed a bug that... So when we... When curl sets up a second stream of the same connection, you know, using the same connection again for a new stream, I fixed a bug in the previous release that made it not initialize stuff for the new stream because it would reuse the, the connection. So it said, hey, it's the same connection we're already using, skip this part. So I fixed this. So, oh, we need to also initialize some other stuff for the new stream. Uh, which was good because I fixed the bug, but of course I overdid it. So I not only fixed initialized things for that new stream, I also initialized some data, uh, you know, components for the connection, which is really bad to initialize connection related stuff in, in a connection that is already used by another stream or many other streams. So babe, I had to sort of not totally revert the commit, but you know, half of the commit was good half of it was bad so now i hopefully made it uh, correct who knows we have this we have this function called curl multi fd set in, in in curl and it it basically sets an FD, fd set being a, a variable in c used for select um, and you could ask then curl to populate your FD sets with this function. And if you if curl then operates on sockets that are larger and beyond the FD set size, you know, the, the largest number of sockets that this variable handles, it would overwrite um, them. In some cases, it was just a, a bad check. It, um, the check was in place, but it was wrong. It's better now. Also, if you built uh, the previous curl release with uh, enable debug, or you just ran make check source to, to check the uh, the source uh, code style, which we have, which we do um, by default, if you build with enable debug, it would fail uh, the 
build or the check if you built from the tarball and the release tarball because I had f missed to add this file in the release. Uh, okay, so yeah, annoying but fixed now. Some other things, uh, clearly we don't have too many users using HTTPS because we got uh, at least two bug reports on HSTS um, that I managed to fix for this release. So there's, for example, this read callback that curl can do to allow the application to populate the HSTS, um, well, cache, the list of domains that it should care about. And libcurl clearly didn't handle a return code the proper way that it was documented to do and uh, was supposed to do. It also didn't handle unlimited expiry properly on 64-bit machines and of course I learned then that, that if you set because curl set when when you said unlimited I internally we translated that to not really unlimited but we set it to the maximum time t value which is a very very large 63-bit number right and then we convert it to date and we write that date in the in the file but it turned out that converting that value to date is not possible if you use a 32-bit field for the year because that's <laughs> there's a larger year number than can fit in a 32-bit number that's uh, that's quite far far away in the future uh, that's fixed now. We handle it differently. So now it's actually doesn't use a date. Now it uses the fixed stream unlimited. Um, so uh, I, another really stupid bug. That I think this was the second bug uh, that really made this patch release uh, sort of happen. Is that I broke in in the previous release I made it a little bit stricter, the HTTP response parser, that, that now it's, it's supposed to verify that you only get a three-digit HTTP response code, you know, 200, 404, 301, all those things. So if it was, if it is more than three digits, it's not a valid HTTP one response, which is fine because that's how it's uh, defined in the specs and everything. And, and, and a lot of other parsers of, of HTTP are stricter. So I'm pretty content that that will won't sort of cause any big problems out there. But of course I messed it up. Maybe not of course, but uh, I did. And um, and the problem was that I did an S scanf to parse it. And then uh, I had parsed the number afterwards. I, I parsed three digits and then I tried to parse, is there a digit coming after that? And in that parser, I accidentally allowed it to skip leading spaces which meant that it would also wrongly trigger uh, if there was a three digits space and digits so if the you know the reason phrase in a response code started with a digit curl would wrongly consider that as a bad http which it wasn't now it's fixed uh, another small fix is uh, that um, we now use this um, the list of errors, we access it directly on Windows builds to avoid the use of str error in, in, on Windows as well. The function str error is documented as not thread safe on POSIX on Windows and basically everywhere. So we should always try to avoid it to, you know, to more accurately be able to get the actual error instead of risking that it actually returns something that wasn't error because of some threading issues. We also made the SSH related tests work now with more recent OpenSSH um, installations. OpenSSH obviously has started to be much more rigid and strict on how it interprets configure items. So w when we in fire up these servers on, for the test suite, we generate a, a configure, a configure file for them. And that configure file we generated was incomplete or sort of it didn't contain the correct syntax for uh, four or five different options with, within OpenSSH. So with starting with this release of OpenSSH, it's, it would refuse to start because of these syntax errors. Fixed now. Those are the highlights. I think those were eight of the 10 bugs. So 
pretty much that was it and those are in that release and we are now back on aiming for 7.80.0 in the next release we're going to stick to the release schedule so we just have a shorter window for new features for the next release but it should be fine we should have then about two and a half weeks to merge features so if you have features and they're ready and and the pull requests are there and clean and fine we should be able to merge them so we as i already talked about in the previous release presentation i'm just going to p keep it short that we have pull request for for a new option for the curl command line tool to avoid overriding local files we have a new api proposed for libcurl to get errors for url parsing parsing this is a sha 256 for ssh related transfers uh, and uh, another callback for libcurl to tell the application uh, just before it starts to transfer after the uh, connection has been made and there are other things you know more protocols ftp3 some other options that have been in the works for a while uh, we have them more or less ongoing i'm not sure that we will actually get around to do a lot of this for the next release but potentially it depends on what you and what i uh, have time for and get to get to in time <coughs> so yeah maybe websockets i don't think websockets I, I made a separate blog post about websockets uh, websockets is part of pretty much put on hold because uh, uh, i need help or sponsorship to get that going so november 10 uh, 7 80.0 unless we get another set of critical bug reports to warrant another patch release but, but 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 let's hope let's hope it's not going to happen so let's stick to the schedule that is the schedule to do this um, every eight weeks so okay every so seven weeks to that release and this is the url for the current release notes in progress this is now no longer 552 days. This is actually not a slide I should have been had kept here. So there's actually seven days less now to the planned version eight. If you have any issues with curl, curl help, curl ports, whatever, contact um, Wolf SSL. File bug reports, file security bug uh, issues on HackerOne. These are the set of fine sponsors that help us uh, keep this project afloat that's pretty much it for this time <coughs> you find curl and everything about curl on curl.se of course um, and you will find binary packages and, and release stuff for your distributions your operating systems and everything um, they will pop up and uh, show up on 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 all those providers uh, later on i hear an alarm somewhere in my house i'll shut up now and stop the recording and and uh, until the next release uh, see you